Hello Robux, it's Joe Plays Games, welcome to an ARK news video. You may or might you not know this, but all of us leave these mountains were put in this game on purpose. Everything here is on purpose. There is no real procedurally generated items. Maybe the terrain can sometimes be a bit different. Um, rocks do grow back in different places, trees grow back in different places, but the actual mountains, some of the biggest rock formations are put, been put there on purpose. The rivers are there on purpose. It's not like Minecraft, every time you create a new world, obviously it gets changed. There's, there's nothing the same, it's always a different world. It's called procedurally generated. Lots of people have been saying, wouldn't it be great if Ark could have that same thing? Imagine if you could load up just different worlds on Ark and all it would have the same would be maybe the obelisks, and maybe some of the caves. But everything else was different. So the terrain would be different, the rivers would be different, where the mountains are would all be different. The lead creator, the lead designer, the guy that basically helped make Ark Survival Evolved has just joined Twitter. His name's Jeremy Stieglitz. If you've not seen any of my other news videos, I've followed quite a few things to do with the court case they faced. And generally just following the story of Ark and how it was formed. He's just joined Twitter and he's been really active in the last 12 hours. So one of the most interesting things he's actually put on one of his tweets was and then back to work on the design for procedural Ark generation. Really jazzed about this feature, going to be a total game changer. So this is going to be crazy. You could literally load up different worlds and your world will not be the same as anyone else's. It will still revolve around the codes. So if you ever played Minecraft, then you type in a number and it can change the world drastically. Some people found ways that can basically have all custom lands, so it might be really flat and snowy. Some of them are really just loads of woods. So that's a not necessarily a new thing in terms of games like this, sandbox games. It's kind of how they a lot of them work. But Ark has never worked like that. The only thing that has been random has been the tree generations. So it technically isn't random, it is called procedurally generated. So it just means that you can't have that tree there without something there underneath it. You can't have A without B in general terms. That's the maths behind it. So it's never a case of you're gonna find a sky island or you, know, you might find three obelisks right next to each other. It's more a case of that there's rules that they will follow but as for everything else, it could be completely different. There will be loads of changes to the terrain. Now, this is a long way off. This isn't going to be coming in the next two weeks, next two months. It might not even come for the next six months. But it would be amazing if you could just load up your own different type of world. It would bring so much more to Ark and make it more like games like Minecraft. A lot of the popularity of Minecraft has been the ability to load up your world and have it different from everyone else's. It always gives new challenges because things aren't exactly where you want to find them. So you'd have to really invest in like find, upgrading to equipment like GPS trackers and stuff like that to find the caves and the loot around. So welcome Jeremy to Twitter. If you can't follow Jeremy or you're not really big on Twitter, you can follow me on Facebook. You can subscribe to me. I'll give you all the latest news and updates. So I've been Joe Plays Games, this has been another Art News update. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye.